This is the 2024 Winnebago Adventure 36Z. We're going to give you a tour of the outside first and then the inside and I'll give you my pet peeve, show you his favorite feature and a build quality rating. So let's go. This has a 7.3 liter 8 cylinder Godzilla engine in it and it rides on the Ford F53 chassis. And look at the Winnebago styling up front. I love these lights. Now I've seen most RVs that use the ordinary standard lights. These LEDs are supposedly super bright and that's what you need at night with something this big. Now, as we come around the side, your rear view cameras are right down here below your chrome mirrors. This actually has your cute little doggy window here. It rides on 22.5 inch Michelins. And as we move back, we have a one full slide out here with your television. And let's take a look at the storage. Hey John, can I point out one thing before we do the storage? Sure, point out, point away. Okay, so I just want to show everyone something that I really like. Remind everyone that we are at the RV show looking at this, 2024 Florida yes. RV Super Show. But if you look above the door, the entrance door right here, there's a really nice awning. And then in addition to that, you also have a full slide awning going across over here. Hey, you're taking away from my tour points. I'm sorry, John. Go ahead. I tell you, this is what happened. See that? I just love that feature so much, <laughs> I didn't want to miss it. Some pass-through storage there. And the one thing I like about this is it's plastic. And you have a place to tie up your pets. A little tether right there. You have a 76-pound propane tank. As we move back, we have more pass-through storage. There's a lot oh, of storage on this. That's pretty good. Oh, this is not passed through. Oh, you it know? is it? No, it's not passed through. Oh my gosh. Don't lie to the people. Is this passed through? Oh, there's one of your tanks. This has actually two gray tanks and two black tanks on board. And that's, is that your water tank, John? Or that's a water that? tank. It holds 93 gallons of water, fresh water. And here is your generator. A 5500, Onan 5500. And there's your water heater. We have a full length ladder right here. You have your rear view camera way up there. Also, your 5,000 pound hitch. Okay, let's go see if we can see the other side. There's your water filter, your wet bay, your outdoor shower, your dump station is right here. It's all very convenient. I like how clean it is too. It's very neat. It's very clean. I like the way that they've done this. That's a nice setup. And it's easy to get to your water pump if you have a problem. Your water pump is easily accessible and your water filter too. Everything is right there in the open. That's I love that. That's a nice that. job, Winnebago. <laughs> there you go, Winnebago again. Your fuel fill. Here's your electrical with your south wire surge protector. And as we move up, I'm trying not to hit my head. You know what? I'm going to have to cheat and read this to you, but it's pretty interesting how much this holds because it has two tanks. Uh, the holding tank for black is 43 and 32 gallons. Okay, those are the two there. And for gray, it's 44 and 39 gallons. Now, John, just to put it in perspective, what do we have on our RV? We hold about 42 and I think 58. So this think, really right? gives you a lot of extra space. It's more. It's a lot more. It's a lot more. And we have a bounder. Yes. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then we have, look at the battery access. I love this. The only downside is it takes away this cargo space. It's a good, it's, you know, it depends on what you carry around. And then there's your cargo here for that, and your inverter cutoff is in there. And finally... I think your battery disconnects there too, John. Yes. Oh, look at that. That's your hydraulic motor, is it? I think it is. And then what's this right here, John? That's what I'm trying. Battery mode solenoid and disconnect relay located inside it. Remember, we're not experts. No, we're not. <laughs> We're just two RVers having fun. <laughs> and your other camera is right here on this side. So let's go and take a look at the inside now. My favorite part, woo! Yes, bye. The cargo carrying capacity is 3,402 pounds. We're yeah. here at the show and the original price for this is 291,184. 
Sales price, $238,999. What? We saw that battery um, bay, but what is this here? Now, I just found out that where the batteries used to be for the, uh, the house is now the engine battery. They put it under here, so it's easy to get to now, just as easy as the chassis batteries used to be. So let's take a look inside. Next to where you come in are your switches. And as we come inside, let's take a look at the front. While you take your seat, I'm gonna go ahead and show everyone the layout of this. Oh yeah, go ahead. This is really, really nice. I love the color scheme in here. It's so different. Winnebago does a fantastic job with these layouts. And check out this floor, folks. When was the last time you've seen a floor like that in an RV? All right, let's go back. Let's join John and find out some more about this rig. All right, John, fill us in. This feels pretty nice. I think you would like this a lot. Oh, it's power adjustable. And it just feels perfectly comfortable sitting here. It's like a, a smaller vehicle. It's does, not like driving a huge bus. Does the wheel telescope? I'm sure it does. Let's check. Yes, it goes up and down a bit and it goes um, in and out. So I think you'd find a very comfortable position here. I think you'd love getting in this driver's seat because it goes up pretty high. Another thing I've noticed about this is, look at this, a jacks down warning light. Over here we have your headlight controls, you have a couple of vents on either side and these gauges are very clear, very right in front of you. I have my mirrors, my fan, my lights, my air, Leveling is down here, and in front of the two cup holders you have a couple of charge ports, 12 volt and two USBs, and your heating controls right there. And now, did you want to try out that side? Yes, I most definitely want to try out this side. I want to swivel around here. And John, this is, oh, somebody has this in a very weird configuration <laughs> here. It's kind of leaned back a lot. A lot. Someone was ready to take this on a long journey, but... Yes, they were. You know, I'm going to say, and I normally don't say this, and, and, and let's see if the seat goes back some first before I say anything. Oh, power. Yes, power. Look at that. Okay, this is better. What I was going to say is that there is a piece right here where my foot goes. Oh, I see that. And if you're tall, this could be an issue. Now, if you want to scoot over to the right of your seat, you've got a little bit more room under here. Yes, you do. But uh, this could be an issue for some people. Now, I like, I mean, let's be real. Most builders, most RV manufacturers have gone, a lot of them have gone to this kind of desk. It's okay. All I really care about is that I can put my stuff on here and it's stable and this is pretty stable, so I'm good with that. And I can actually stow a few things underneath if I wanted to because it's slightly raised. Now, I must say, I really do like this wood grain look. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I, mean, I know it's not wood grain, right? but I still think that it's pretty cool. I like that. And then you've got this nice big window. I still don't understand why Winnebago <laughs> does this because that's not going to black anything out. Right. Um, Maybe if enough of us say you need to get a longer MCD shade or make your own shade, because they make a lot of the own, their own products that go into these RVs, like the, um, the chairs and the recliners and things like that, maybe they need to look into making their own shade. Got a cup holder here and a nice little doghouse. If I've got someone coming along with me, I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe it just needs to be twisted. Sherry, I'm the one that's supposed to break things, not you. I know, I know. This is your drop down and it's power. And I believe it holds over 500 pounds. So you can get two people up there. It's about queen size. And that's very convenient. Let's see, the over door storage here has your satellite receiver system and a Wally inside there and a couple of outlets. And over the door, they always like to put in this nice touch. You have a few hooks here. Really love that touch. <laughs> I forgot to do the storage. I'm slipping today. This is my first day doing a full tour. But you have storage on either side. And the thing I love about the storage is they put these little details in it. The one on the passenger side has a road map printed on it. And this has like scenes of palm trees and pine trees and a Winnebago. And that's really nice. I love the backlighting 
that they have in some of the places around this rig. And the storage over here, it's single cabinet storage, but they have six of these going all the way down the slide. So there's plenty of room to store things up there. We have these large windows letting in light. This one actually opens. And now I finally get to take a break and have a seat. Now this comes with a recliner if you want it. This is the sleeper sofa, the love seat, because underneath here you have a pull-out bed. You know, those cushions look so comfortable. Are they, they are very soft. They These look are... very soft. <laughs> On the end here, you do have those table slots that Winnebago likes. Um, what? All right, I think that one is supposed to be secured somehow. But And uh, you have a couple of cup holders on either side with, that go next to your table. We go over here. This is actually a televator. When it's down, you get a lot of counter space here. Behind the televator, does the window open when it's down? Yes, that window actually opens. And then... On either side of the fireplace, we have these storage areas, and that thing is giving off some nice heat. Yeah, it's uh, 4,777 BTUs, 1,400 watts. And it feels great over and here. I believe it changes colors as well. It looks like it does, yes. All right, John, let's take a look at this kitchen. Oh, this is nice. Now, here's your sink. I like these modern fixtures with a sprayer, but it comes with this drying rack. And underneath that, you have a pan within your sink for drying and rinsing things. And they give you this really thick cutting board. That's really nice. I mean, this is a complete kitchen setup right here. This is beautiful. And then this slide actually comes in over this sink. You have this island that's permanent. And so you have this L-shaped counter space with all of that that you could use. So John, one thing I just wanted to mention here is that there is a lot of space in this RV. Um, one thing that people may not realize is that it has actually three slides. There's a slide that goes all the way down the length from the fireplace where you come in the door into the bedroom. Then there's another slide that is where you have your couch, your recliners, and your dinette. And a third slide located in the bedroom on the bedroom side. So this is a very, very spacious RV. It's roughly 37 feet. Yes. And it, it's just, it's, the space is amazing. I just really love what they've done with this. Also something unique about this is it has an induction cooktop along with your propane stove. And that is, I've never seen that in any gas coach. I've never seen that anywhere really, except maybe a couple of trailers. And then above that, you have this beautiful, large convection microwave and some storage here next to that. John, what about that backsplash? I think that's unique. I, I kind of like it. Folks, let us know in the comments what you think about that backsplash. And also, let us know what you think about this setup here with this L-shaped kitchen. Also, I like this. I think that's a nice touch, too. That is very pretty. Hey, John, before we go forward, why don't you tell everyone about subscribing? Oh, yeah. If you're enjoying our content, why don't you leave us a like down below and subscribe? It's free. It is. <laughs> All right, let's keep going, John. There's plenty of storage in this kitchen. If you come around the back of the L shape here, you'll see that there are two large doors here that are very deep. You can put a lot in this one. This, this whole thing right here is all storage. And then next to that, you have two smaller drawers and two drawers this size. And John, are those soft clothes? No. No. Okay. You have to be like John. You have to be like John? <laughs> yes. Oh, I like, you know, I like their dinette seats. Why? They're so much more comfortable than most dinettes I've sit okay. sat in. And I like the size of this table. Other tables I've seen are more narrow. But this one's nice and wide. There's a way to raise it because it has a split right here. So you can actually raise it up for, uh, into a standing desk. Is there an outlet over there too? Oh, let me see. Yes, there is, there are three. There's a USB and 12 volt there as well. And um, one final thing, do, do these, um, oh. does it have any storage? Yes, Did it's the old it style set? storage. We have the plywood. But uh, it's still storage, so that works. 
There are seat belts behind the cushions. Okay. So you can see a lot of people here. That's, that's great, John. That is. Here we have a side-by-side -side fridge. That is huge. That is, and guess yeah. what? It comes with an ice and water dispenser. You know that's good because this RV sleeps six. Yes. So you're actually, you know, you can carry a full family right. in this RV. So you'll want to have a big enough refrigerator. And now into the half. Okay, after you, John. All right, let's see what this looks like here. It's pretty roomy. Everything's convenient. You know, I love the feel of this. <laughs> you love it. The counters a nice, are nice. It's a ni very, very nice countertop. I like it a lot. I don't know the material, but it's super smooth. Yep. Small drawers. I think they're all small. They're yeah. all small, okay. And uh, this is not a cabinet, so I think that's just there. Access panels, perhaps? Yeah, probably. I don't want to pull those out. And over here you have a cabinet. And behind my head is where most of your storage is. All right. I love the artwork they include, too. And yes. you have a towel rack inside, and then you also have multiple towels that can hang up here. That is convenient. And you know why I think that's cool? Why? It's a really cool feature because if you have like six people that are with you, right? Right. You're all going to shower in the full bath, right. but you need a place to have your towels. Like we always, when we have other people in our rig with us, they have no, there's not enough room for the nope. towels. So they can shower in there and keep their towels in the half bath. Like the video to bother my father. One like equals one bother. <laughs> Look at the size of the pantry storage. <gasps> John, put your arm in there. <laughs> put your arm in there, John. Whoa, John. Now, this isn't just a pantry, right? It can no. be used for something else. What can you use it for? It has prep space here for a washer dryer. Nice. Now let's move into the bedroom. We come in and look around. It's nice. Let's see what we have here. A wardrobe. And this is different. The storage passes through here because, yeah, the TV does not open here. So you have storage behind the TV going all the way through to the wardrobe back here. So anything you may not be using, you can put right in there. There's a shelf here. And then six of these deep drawers. On the other side, you have your bed with small nightstands on either end with 110 and USB charging on both sides. You also have two cabinets above and some backlighting up there as well. Um, John, is there an opening for a CPAP there? I don't think one of the... There is it. They give you that low shelf for that. But um, no, they don't give you a CPAP above the bed. And I like the fact that they put a... <laughs> full a full mirror, there. mirror Yes, in the bedroom. That's perfect. And now into the bathroom. I like the dark, I like the navy blue cabinets along with the white. It looks very nautical to me. I just like that. I like this, uh, these fixtures. We have a lot of cabinet. Oh, that's an access panel. Don't want to open that. We have a deep cabinet on this side and a drawer. And then your toilet paper holder is over here near your toilet. Let's see what this is like. And plenty of room, plenty of room there and your towel holder. And they also have a hook back here in case I guess you have an extra towel. So they have plenty of room for towels in this bathroom. How's that shower, John? Let's go in. A little bit of a step, not much. How do you fit in there? Turn around. This and... is very roomy. John, I can't lock you in this one. <laughs> but tell us how comfortable it is. Let's see where it's, your head it's is. It's very roomy. My, I'm 5'6", and so I got another foot and a half maybe above us. So, uh, but the Spigot, this thing is not adjustable here. It's right where it is. It is where it is. Um, but other than that, it's pretty nice. Awesome. There is a big step coming down there. Yeah, so. well, you're stepping over because you're kind of lower in here. Mm -hmm. So you're just kind of stepping over it. It's not like some of those where you're stepping way down. All right, that's it for the tour. Now it's time for my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature in a build quality rating. We'll be back. Give us your take on Winnebago. Mm -hmm. So I just love how spacious these are because I've been looking at everything from the tiny little travel trailers to this fairly large Class A here and just like look around here there's so much space like I can stand next to my father comfortably in the narrowest point in the room no one has to squeeze past each other there's no worrying about like 
oh my gosh, there's so much clutter in here. It's like, there's just so much space. Even if there's a little bit of clutter, like if I had random thing lying here, nobody would notice because you can just walk right by here. And then just the, again, like the styling is good. Like you have, you know, decent, colors that work together you even have like these little stone bits on the handles and you have a fireplace it just it feels like somewhere that i'd want to spend time it doesn't it's not crowded it's not cramped it's not just hastily laid out and thrown together it's you know it looks like some thought was put into the the layout it looks like you know, there was actually attention to just homey features that people would want. And on that note, I don't think we need a Chevy's favorite feature. I think we just got Justin's impression and that is like fantastic. I have a couple of pet peeves here, uh, exactly three. Um, this shade, it's just they need to find a way to block up the whole window. Also, I'm not a big fan of the old style storage in the dinette. I like the newer dinettes that have the drawers that come out under the seats rather than pulling up the seat in the plywood. That's just me. So there were a couple of things that we found with the build quality. Yeah. They were very, very minor issues. Um, All right. Yeah. So, uh, and I, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just going to jump in here because I know somebody's <coughs> going to say something about me having on a mask and doing this. I'm just recovering from COVID. Yep. I'm following the CDC guidelines yep. so that I don't get other people sick. Um, you have a certain number of days where you're supposed to wear a mask if you're going to be out in public, and so that's what I'm doing. Okay, that's done. Yeah. The build quality rating. Very, uh, there were a couple of very minor things, like the cup holder where the top part came off, and then John was sitting in the recliner, and what happened there? Uh, one of the two pinholes for the desks to slide into, the top part just came right off. Right, so those those are really the only two things that we found. Yeah. Everything else is very, very solid. Oh, yeah. Very well put nice. together. So um, I would give this, and you know, sometimes you don't know. It's a right. show model, and so you've got people who aren't necessarily taking the best care of the product when they right. walk through it. I'm going to say a 9 out of 10. You know what? I'll go with that, since they are two minor issues, and the rest was solid. The rest was solid. So. Yeah. All right, folks, there you have it. The 9 out of 10 for this Adventurer 36Z. We're done for this one, and it's on to the next one.